Hello again, everybody. Well, I've had several requests to come back and take a look at an old standby of mine. We're going to check out TVA's Raccoon Mountain Pump Storage Facility. So come on, guys. Let's go take a look and see what we can see today, shall we? Let's go have some fun. One of the more interesting things is when they've done some change out of some of the gear to become more efficient, you have things like that really cool impeller that would have pumped water up and also generated power. But for right now, we're going to head through this beautiful area and get down to where the intake structure is. So I'll see you guys then. Now, some of the old things are still here, like this giant valve. Now, this valve would have controlled water flowing through from the upper lake down through the generation into the lower lake. And just to give you an idea for the new people that haven't ever seen this, this is what we're talking about right here. Now, we are down over here and we're gonna drive around and then there's the whole upper reservoir up at the top. That's where they pump the water up to. So anyway, what's amazing about this place is how beautiful this place actually is. This area is known as the Grand Canyon of the Tennessee River. Now, let's go take a look and take a closer look at the intake structure, shall we? That's the structure up here where the water gets pumped in and out of and they have to break it up so that it doesn't drive barges across the river or cause a problem. Well, we are in luck today. While they are generating some, they're not generating a huge amount, you're gonna get to see a lot of water flow and why these deflector cells are actually here. So let's go down and take a look, shall we? Now the water comes out, hits those, and it breaks it up so that it's not going completely crazy. Now I have been down here sometimes when the water went absolutely crazy when they are generating a lot, and the water actually gets up higher than those metal rails. But we're going to go down here and take a closer look. Now we're in the middle of this giant concrete structure breaking up the water so that it doesn't go too crazy under the Tennessee River. You can see that that giant structure there is where the water comes in and out of. And it goes down deeper a little bit from here. More importantly, after the power gets generated or the water gets pumped, the lake is up there. And that's the visitor's side. Now, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there is a very low vibration thrumming. You can feel it in all the concrete. Now, the more they generate, the more you can feel that thrumming. It's still pretty impressive, even though it's running low right now, to think about the sheer volume of water that is running out of here. Anyway, that's it for the structure. Let's go take a look up top. Well, I think that's a sump pump thing. I've never found out precisely what it is, but it's definitely off to the side. So it probably is a sump pump area where they drain some of the working areas that just started happening just a second ago. And we're on our way up the mountain, but here's the offices for here. But the other interesting thing is that the main hardcore working area that goes deep underground is right there. But we're going up here. And some folks might remember that look. Back when they used to let people go down into the pump room, you could see that it's brightly colored. But more importantly, this was one of the first ones to come out when they redid in 2000. This is a great big solid piece of stainless steel. You can see the data on it, but I mean, what's impressive about this is you can see 
where the water has actually etched little waves in it, and that is from water. But you can hear that it's pretty solid. Now we're up here at the visitor center. Another cool thing is that there is so much to see here. Um, independently of the visitor center, there's also a lot of trails up here. Now I'm not doing the trails today. We may do it another day, but let's go take a look. So all of these come up out of the ground. You may even be able to hear the humming because they are generating some. These come from a thousand feet down deep in the mountain where that pump room is that you saw in the photo. Comes up here, ties into these lines, and goes over to the transfer yard. Now, if you want to see what the transfer yard looks like, I'm not going to show you today. I've got it in an older video, but uh, let's go take a look and see if we can get inside the visitor center, shall we? They've added a lot more stuff since I was here last time. The diary of a water droplet. This also talks about a lot of the evergreen forests and a lot of stuff that grows up here. And that's supposed to be a sunflower looking solar generation, but I don't know if it's generating or not. Anyway, you can see this is the central shaft. Back in the day, you could have ridden in an elevator all the way down and seen it, but since 9-11, they don't let that happen anymore. Let me say hello to the new visitor center. They've got some of the old displays, and they've got some new displays. Pretty cool, you really need to come up and take a look at it. I told you about all the trails, so there are plenty of trails up here. Another thing is, Oh yeah, we're doing pretty good. Take a look at this. This is why they call it the Grand Canyon of the Tennessee River. We'll get outside and take a look at it here in a minute. Now remember, we were down there. Now one of the coolest things about coming to the visitor center is this. I know Snoopers Rock has got a heck of a view, but I have always been partial to this view and apologies we have some clouds running in but the colors on the other side of the gorge usually pop quite amazingly and you can see that they're still generating power down there and the Tennessee River goes by anyway let's go take a look at the intake structure shall we now before we get over to there you can see that the intake structure is there, and then the water goes down a thousand feet, and then goes to the power plant chamber, and you can see all the other chambers and the access tunnel and all that down there, and then the elevator shaft, which people used to ride down, and the transmission cables, and then the switch yard goes out. So this one facility, when it's running at full tilt, can power 900,000 homes. Well, this is something I haven't seen before. Evidently, all of the vultures, or turkey buzzards, whatever you want to call them, are camping out on the rail. This might be interesting. And there they go. Those are some really big birds to be perching like pigeons. It looks like the lake's pretty full today. But here we are at the intake structure. And yes, the intake structure is actually bigger than the Statue of Liberty. Now, You go back through my old Facebook pages, you'll see photos that I posted from several years ago that show how tall this structure actually is. 
they had to drain the lake at, at one point in a, a few years ago and do a lot of maintenance on it and this structure is massive now it doesn't look like they're pulling a lot they're pulling some but right in the middle of that it goes down 230 feet to the top of the pipes but independently of that just look at how amazing this place is you would have no idea that you were on top of a mountain. Next, we're gonna go over there and drive across the dam. So we're gonna need to go ahead and buzz over there. Now, one of the more amazing things is the fact that we are on a mountain and just look this. The fact that TVA built a leg on top of a mountain to generate power is just absolutely amazing. And then it's supposed to be one of the largest rip wrap dams that TVA has made too because as you can see that drops way off and over there it drops off to the Tennessee River. Well guys, hope you've enjoyed our revisit of the Raccoon Mountain Pump Storage Facility. If you wanna see a more in-depth, I'll put the link to my original one in the description below. As always, I'm off to go on some more journeys. Until then, why don't you go on some journeys of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.